Today's Epiphany celebration is going to look very different. The pandemic forcing officials to limit the number of spectators. However, one Tarpon Springs woman is making sure the desserts served at small gatherings around town today are as sweet as they always have been. And I believe she's going to succeed in doing that. ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly meets up with the queen of the Greek donut as she prepares her decadent creations. Papa. This is what a lifelong dream looks like. Growing up, my mom always made the best lukumavis. It's my family's tradition. It's my culture. Melly Greek Street Donuts, otherwise known as, and please excuse my pronunciation, lukumavis, a secret recipe handmade by this force of nature, Irene Manglis. So it's my mom's grandmother that taught her. My mom was seven years old when she started frying. Born and raised in Tarpon Springs, Irene wanted to carry on her family family's proud Greek tradition in a hip modern way. So last January, she bought a horse trailer. I didn't want Melly to look like a normal food truck. I wanted it to stick out. I wanted to separate from everything else. Her twist on the Greek donut, and yes, they are as delicious as they look, is gaining buzz. This is the one that started it all, the classic canela. It's honey and cinnamon. For Epiphany, both a local restaurant and a private party requested her decadent desserts. It was an honor because typically the old little Greek ladies make the lukumadas. Irene takes her trailer up and down the Gulf Coast. Her day job is a paralegal, but this is the dream. I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I love to serve people. I know that the way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. Luca Modis, is that right? Luca Modis, close enough. If you want to try out Melly Greek Street Donuts, head on over to abcactionnews.com, and I will hook you up with locations and links and all that good stuff. In Palm Harbor, I am Sean Daly, ABC Action News.